A group of BYU students got a taste of outer space when NASA invited them to float their homework right through zero gravity. ABC4's Robert Walls took the trip into weightlessness while the students with the students as they hitched a ride on the Vomit Comet. Robert. The astronauts live in a weightless environment while they orbit the Earth in outer space. The only other way to experience zero gravity requires a jumbo jet, an experienced pilot, and a cast iron stomach. Like swimming in a pool with no water, doing somersaults in midair, and flying like Superman. It's so different than anything else you can ever imagine. <laughs> NASA selected college students from several universities to test their classroom experiments in zero gravity. Well, we've been able to levitate particles in the lab in a laser beam. The BYU team wants to know why graphite and other fine particles become suspended in a laser. They've tested it in the lab, but want to know if the absence of gravity will change the current scientific theory that convection causes the particles to levitate. It's amazing to like actually put what you learn in the classroom to use and have it put out data and results that you can actually do something with. NASA puts the students through a week-long training to prepare them for the flight aboard the Vomit Comet, named because of the number who become ill while twirling and twisting in midair. They start to float, they start to drift, um, their feet come up off the ground, and it's just a, it's a, it's a, an environment that they've never been in. To simulate zero gravity, the students strap their experiments to the floor of this C-9 jumbo jet. The pilot takes them up to about 25,000 feet and then goes into a steep dive. At a certain point, the passengers start falling at the same rate as the plane, and gravity disappears. Flying in the weightless wonder is like riding a roller coaster in outer space. You get about 35 seconds of weightlessness, where you and everything else floats around. Then gravity takes over, and you float back to the ground. I like to be able to put my feet on the ceiling and hands on, hands on the ground, and it, we'll look at the world from that perspective. The students have enough time to test out their science and play around. Hey, Dr. Petros! Woo! The students did not stay in place, but the particles in the beam did, disproving the current theory of laser levitation. We've ruled out now the, the effect of the currents rising, the air currents rising. We can go on to search for other reasons. After about 90 minutes, the sky coaster ride ends, and the college cosmonauts come back to Earth. Out, come it out. That's a wrap, folks! NASA selects several dozen college and high school students to ride in the Vomit Comet each year. They say they do it to inspire America's youth to study science and technology and give reporters the thrill of a lifetime. Ruth and Terry? Looks like a lot of fun, Robert. Thanks.